And the WHAS 11 team is covering this election night for you. Our Ian Hardwood explains a recent change to Jefferson County elections passed by lawmakers last session. But first, Jose Alonzo and photojournalist Emma Gefter are joining us live outside of a polling location that just closed in New Lou. Hello, uh, Jose. Hey, Doug, that is correct. They are just closed off the polls. They're actually grabbing the signs at this moment. You actually might see them pass through with the signs here in a second. But we spent the day talking to people and what exactly their concerns were. Concerns ranging from public safety all the way to community outreach and even issues surrounding JCPS. And as you see there, there goes the signs right there. Polls are now closed. But I did get to speak to one with one couple in Butchertown who say that they were voting for a candidate who they believe will focus on downtown investments and developments as well. Things have been developing and changing. It's pretty much been dominating my thoughts. I mean, it's going in the right direction, I think. You know, with Butchertown connecting, you know, with, I guess, Nulu. Kim Lucchese and Jean DeFord biked to their voting location. While riding around the district, they noticed developments come and go. I mean, we'll be walking around and going, where'd that come from? And yeah. There's something <laughs> else going that. down. We're going, okay, what's that? Again, if we can just all come together, I think the arts is a big draw for people. Um, there's a huge community of artists in this area. They've been just mm -hmm. so awesome to me, kind of a newcomer. I've only been here about eight years. Um, and it's important to have them on board and to have the right people in place for that. Another concern in the area is finding a solution for people living on the streets. Let's work with the homeless coalition in getting um, some kind of, I know the Wayside Christian Mission is very active in helping the homeless, but I think we need more. The new JCPS transportation plan has voters like William Wright looking for a representative that will work with the school district. My wife and I have uh, a soon to be ninth grader and soon to be 10th grader. Uh, so we are uh, very concerned with uh, how things are going to go with this coming school year, uh, considering how you know, chaotic and unorganized things were this previous school year. He says the teacher shortage and investment into the district has also caught his family's attention. There's a lot of things that, and it's almost like we're treating the symptoms instead of treating the problems. Uh, so we, you know, are just hoping that you know, some of the people that we may be able to get in the office can help change those things. And as you heard, there were a lot of concerns these voters had here in District 4. And I want to talk about what we've been seeing throughout the day. We visited several polling sites, and it seemed like a slow day for the most part. When we checked in here at this station, it happened to be a slow day. It picked up a little bit. It dwindled back down. But just within the last hour, I personally saw about 20 people come in to make their voices heard in that very last minute. And now we're going to see who District 4 residents are going to be voting for in the upcoming general election. That's going to be in November. Reporting live in Nulu, Jose Alonso, WHAS 11, on your side.